Good evening. He's made headlines for taxpayer-funded trips with women he paid for sex. But no one has seen or heard from rorting WA politician Phil Edmund until now. As a fallout from the corruption scandal has MPs running for cover, the former Liberal has been living a life of leisure in Bali and he wasn't pleased to see us when we discovered his five-star hotel hideout. He can run, but he can't hide. Mr Edmund, can we talk to you about the triple C findings? No, you can't. You shouldn't be here. Would you like to apologise to taxpayers? You shouldn't be here. I think there's a bigger cause for concern here. These exclusive pictures reveal how the former Liberal politician, who spent your money on strippers, sex with seedy website sugar babies, expensive wine tours, a berth for his yacht and much more, is holidaying, or hiding, in Bali. Phil Edmund likes five-star hotels on the back of flea bag accountability. Would you like to apologise to taxpayers? It's hard to believe, but right now Mr Edmund is staying in one of the same hotels used to rort taxpayers. A corruption inquiry found he did no work while he stayed there in 2015. While the evasive Mr Edmund makes Bali his temporary sanctuary, the fight over his laptop continues in the Supreme Court. The Upper House of Parliament is refusing to hand it over to the Corruption and Crime Commission. I think the court is probably best placed to make the decision about which information should be provided and which shouldn't. Telephone intercepts picked up Mr Edmund warning former and current MPs that his laptop contained dirt that could ruin political careers. He then wanted to tip off a serving MP about a backup hard drive. How much damage has this done to the Liberal Party? Look, I think this has done a lot of damage to every Member of Parliament. This all started with the Corruption and Crime Commission using Mr Edmund as a test case around MPs' allowances. They get $78,000 a year and the Corruption Watchdog says the public is blind to how they spend it. Nobody is able to say whether the example that we have given is a single example or whether it's widespread. We've had a taste of Mr Edmund's sex, lies and now talk of videotapes. And even if he doesn't want to talk, it's not going away any time soon. Gary Adshead, Nine News. Live now to Asia correspondent Renee Henry, who tracked down Phil Edmund in Bali. Renee, he wasn't impressed to see you. No, not at all. With a drink bottle and cap in hand, perhaps he was returning to his hotel from a nice beach walk. This was his first opportunity to speak up himself rather than through a lawyer, but he bolt. No sign of his wife, who he claims to have been temporarily separated from during his liaisons. It does seem that this trip was a deliberate attempt to dodge questions. We understand that Mr Edmund has been here in Bali since the corruption watchdog dropped its bombshell report on Tuesday. Back to you, Tracy. Renee, thanks for the update.